Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use bookmarks. So I've got a document on the screen and I'm going to insert a couple of bookmarks and then do some calculations and some navigation with those bookmarks. So first of all, let's create a bookmark. So if I click there, and I say I want a bookmark there, so I'll go to the Insert tab and bookmark and then I need to give it a name so I'll just call this Steve and then add so that's as simple as that is creating a bookmark now why would I want to do that maybe I want to create some sort of navigational list or some um, hyperlink back to that area so let's just type Steve there and then just do a link so when you do link this is normally to a web page or a different document, but it, placed in this document, if you've created a bookmark, they appear at the bottom. So these are the heading styles, so I could do it to that as well, but I'll just go on to Steve, okay. And it comes up with a little hyperlink. And when you point to it, you need to hold your control key down and then click, and it takes you to that place. So you could say, you could put some narrative before that, see um, Steve above, for example like so and then you would just click on that so that's one way of using a bookmark another way of using a bookmark is to um, create calculated fields use it with fields and formulas so I'm just going to type 20 and I'm going to highlight that 20 and call it 20 so it's going to be a bookmark and I'll call it 20 add so now that's called 20. I'm not going to hyperlink to this one, but what I want to do is, is show you that you can do a formula on that. So if I now go to, I'm still in the insert tab, if I go to quick parts and field, in there you've got the formula option, which allows you, for example, to paste bookmarks. So if I go 20, there's the bookmarks, the two that I've done, times... 10 for example you can also do a a number format there so it's going to be in pounds when i click ok that works it out so if i change that to 30 30 this doesn't automatically update but if i highlight this and press the f9 function key that will then update so this is looking at that bookmark so as long as that bookmark is intact and you haven't deleted it or compromised it in any way that will give you the correct answer based on that formula in there now if I just open a different document that's got some of these fields in you can see what you can do so these are if I click on this one it says that it's embedded and bookmarked as IT so what that is that's a link to an Excel spreadsheet paste special so it will automatically update and so is this and so is this and then you can use these calculations to carry out other calculations within a report and that's what this document is doing and it's saying there to update everything press F9 so that's a quick look in a blank document how we can do that so if I just do control N and then I've got a spreadsheet open so I'll just type the title IT training consultancy and pay per click so those are the three headings I want. And then what you can do is, if I just press the tab key, in fact, I'll put a tab at five, just press it to there, and then I can put a field there. So what I want to do now is go back into Excel, copy uh, this one, first off, copy, and then instead of pasting that, I want to paste special and bring it in as a link but on or formatted text so it's going to be like a word bit of text now that is what I want to bookmark so you've got if I just double click on that I've clicked it now you've got to be careful you get all of this in there like that so insert bookmark I'll just call this IT add that's IT and the idea then is that if I come down a bit I can say 
IT increase by 10% for example if I put 10% in there and then I can do a formula so now I can go back to quick parts field formula so I can go IT paste IT and times it by 1.1 1.1 to give it a 10% increase and then OK to that and there we go so that's now a 10% increase on this now if I go back and go get the other ones so I'll copy that one copy so you just come back into Word tablet 5 I, didn't, I should have put that on first so the same thing and then paste special paste link paste special paste link formatted ok and then bookmark that insert bookmark call that consultancy add and then do the last one and the process is the same for each one you copy it you bring it back in do your little tab tab to it and then back to home paste special paste link RFT OK and then you bookmark that insert bookmark I'll just put this call this click at so you've got the three bookmarks so now you can use you can do formulas on each of these like I've done there and the idea is if this figure changes in Excel then it will automatically update this and then that will update as well so let's have a go at doing that so if I change that that says 12,000 so if I put 5,000 there that's now gone to 13,000 if I come back it hasn't updated yet but if I highlight everything and then press F9 everything's automatically updated that's updated from Excel this is looking at the bookmark which is that one and it's adding 10% onto it so it's updated so that's just a very quick video of how you can use bookmarks with fields to create calculations and then end up with a, a management report like this, if you so wish. You won't have all the comments on there because I've got that on there so you can see what's going on. But hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.